I'm the field engineer on the south approach of the Patello Bridge Replacement Project. I'm mainly involved with the construction of Highway 17 and Old Yellow Overpass. We're building this overpass in Surrey, and Surrey is known for having not so good ground condition. There's a thick layer of uh, compressible peat underneath, and this compressible peat is susceptible to settlement over time. It's a two-stage construction. We have stage one and stage two, and overall we have around 12,000 blocks to install. And if you use the conventional earth fill, it is around 1,800 to 1,600 metric ton per cubic meter. Whereas air foam uh, blocks are roughly on average 24 kilograms per cubic meter. That's, that's a lot less uh, loading on top of existing ground. The overpass is in a seismic zone and the seismic resilience of the structure is, is key. To provide seismic resilience, we've used shear keys in our layout. So shear keys are basically uh, square blocks. They go all the way from the bottom to the, to the very top of the EPS. And they interlock the two different layers of EPS. And, and in, in the event of any earthquake, they provide seismic resilience and they do not allow the different layers to move. Using geoform compared to conventional earth fill reduces the settlement over time. That reduces the maintenance cost over time during, this, uh, during the service life of the project. The design life of the project is 100 years, so this form is going to stay here for almost 100 years, uh, if not more. And it, it's a stable product, it does not decompose over time, it's non-toxic, it does not have any side effects to the environment. And uh, also, uh, like other conventional earth fill, it does not leach into the ground. Quality of the product that we've been receiving from Airform has been great. We have been receiving all the quality documentation and on time. Airform, they are a certified facility, so We've been getting all the documents we need for all of our sign-off and it's been overall a smooth and great experience.